Okay, so I noticed that there wasn't a video on how to do the drive belts on a 300ZX, a ZX1, and I just did these uh, because I was getting down there and getting that cylinder head temperature sensor changed out and the sub harness for it. I put a video of that on there too in case that helps anybody. But I just, this is a pretty easy deal and I'm not an expert. I'm just doing this uh, in case somebody's wondering how to do it before they get started. I can at least show you what bolts and what nuts have to be loosened. So you want to start with the power steering pump. And so that one, you're going to need a 12 millimeter and it's this bolt right here. Loosen it, but don't take it all the way out of there because it'll be hard to line up back up if you do. This, the next one that you want to do is you want to loosen up the adjustment nut. Just run it until it's loose and then back that off with your fingers all the way out. You're going to need to loosen that one and I loosen that one a little bit too. You don't need to take any of them out. Just loosen them. And so that way you can move this pulley or th this bracket uh, forward. It'll move forward which will give you more slack in the belt and you can get the belt off and you do the opposite to put it back on. Uh, the next one's the AC. The AC compressor's right here. You don't have to mess with that at all. All you have to do is take a 14 millimeter, loosen that right there, and then this right here is your adjustment. So that's going to tighten it, which is what I need to do right now anyway. But that'll tighten it, and you want to get a little bit of play in there, but not a whole lot. Maybe deflects about a quarter to, at the most, I would say a half an inch. I'm not an expert, but I just do it until it's tight, not extremely tight. Because extremely tight is going to put more wear and tear on the bearings. So the next one that you'll get to would be the alternator. That's down there. It, you're gonna to need to loosen this with a 12 millimeter. Then you're gonna to need to back this all the way out to where you can move the alternator this way. You're gonna to need to loosen this, it's 12 millimeter. And I loosen this too a little tiny bit, just so everything can flex a little bit, move a little bit. And then you'll, I had to pry mine. I had to pry against the car and onto the alternator to move it this way. Just because the car has been sitting for a long time and the belts had never been changed. But that's how I did it. And if it helps you, that's great. Um, good luck.